All right, in a highly unusual case, a jury in West Virginia has convicted the former CEO of a coal mining company of conspiring to violate safety standards. The charges followed a deadly coal mine explosion in 2010, the worst such mining disaster in 40 years. Anna Werner has more. After 29 miners died in an explosion at Massey Energy's Upper Big Branch Mine in West Virginia, federal investigators said the accident was preventable. Prosecutors blamed company CEO Don Blankenship for putting profits over safety. At the time, he told CBS News it wasn't true. We owe them everything we can do to keep them safe, and we've uh, been doing that for years. But the jury did not believe him, finding him guilty this week of conspiring to violate mine safety standards. Key evidence? Blankenship often recorded his own phone conversations, and prosecutors used them against him to show his emphasis on profit. Uh, you've got to have someone who actually understands that this game is about money. The mine here has been shut down. All that's left of the men who used to work here is this simple memorial of crosses topped with hard hats. But the families of those men say over five years later, they're still waiting for justice. Gary Quarles, a miner himself, lost his 33-year-old son Gary Wayne in the explosion. What does that evidence prove to you? That he's guilty. And more so, he, he is the person that actually killed my son. He knew all of this was going on to shut this mines down and get it right. And he didn't do that because he knew if he shut it down, it was going to take money out of his pockets. Blankenship was found not guilty of more serious felony charges, including securities fraud. His conviction is for a misdemeanor, but he still could face up to a year in prison. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Anna Werner, New York.